by Dallas, make it hurt. Lifestyle motivation here coming right back at you. We're going to go ahead and touch on a topic today, everyone, and we call this the 12 steps and goal setting. So, really awesome. This is something you can apply to your life if you guys want to achieve better uh, rewards, uh, increase skill, knowledge, or just even achieve financial freedom if you want. And using these 12 steps are very helpful tools because they help us excel to our fullest potential. So I'm going to cover all 12 steps today and break them down. The first step, and write it down, I recommend you guys write it down. And before we get started, by the way, please like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and it does help us out a lot. And if you like content about motivation, self-motivation, whether it's uh, others motivating you, or whether it's uh, helping you become a better individual, then please like the, the channel, because that's what we're, our channel's about, adventures, vlogging, and all kinds of cool stuff. So uh, we appreciate the support, and those of you that are part of the LM crew already, thank you guys, and we enjoy putting up this content for you all. All right, so getting back to it, step number one, have a desire. You gotta have a desire, guys. You know, it's those things that keep you up at night. It's that itch, it's that burning, wanting of getting to that goal you want. And you gotta want it though. You gotta have that desire to get there. Now we all want things, but we have to be able to keep pushing through those challenges. So having a burning desire, that's what keeps us going. That's what keeps our, our spark moving to that, you know, that fire going because we wanna be able to keep moving through until we get there. So have a desire, okay? Write that down, that's step one. Okay, step two, it's going to be, you gotta believe, you gotta believe in yourself. You have to believe that you can get there. You have to believe that you have it already. So let's say you want a, a brand new toy, a car, it could be a house, or maybe you just want extra income, more financial freedom. You have to believe you can get there. And you gotta believe in yourself. Sometimes fear gets in the way and you can't let fear stop you from achieving the goal you want. So with that being said, don't let fear stop. Even if we do take a fall, a step back, like a fail, we don't let that stop us. Remember, it's just a learning step to get closer to our real goal. So you have to believe in yourself, okay? So step two, so write that down. All right, guys, so step three, you gotta write it down. Gotta write it down. They say, if you write it down, that it becomes more of a personal statement to yourself that I'm gonna get, it becomes more serious. Because when you write it down, you're putting in that energy to say, I'm gonna get to that, I'm gonna get that goal, this is what I want. And you write in that present uh, statement, like, I'm getting there, this is me, I got this already, right? And then from there, you gotta put some positive feedback in it and then make it a personal thing. Because when you write it down, especially taking the pen to the paper or the pencil to the paper, it makes it more personal. It makes it more of a journey that you know I'm willing to take and that this is what it's going to be to get there. And you gotta believe that you have it already. That's one of the major aspects to achieving our goals in life is you have to believe, even though it's not there yet, you still gotta believe it's it's there. You gotta believe you have it and you achieve it. You gotta continue to build that feeling of energy that I can get there and that you know you have it, right? So, you know, if your goal is to, let's say, get a certain number by the end of the year, whether it's income or it's a savings, whatnot, you have to say, I have this, I have this. Because when you're truly committed and you're truly, your mind, everything is in there, or, you know, you guys have went all in on this, you guys will get there. But you can't have any doubts about it. You have to be able to be full on, I'm gonna get this. So write it down. Step four, analyze your starting point, guys. So this is where you gotta be honest with yourself, okay? You can't just go in there going like, all right, I'm gonna go get this in a week, or I'm gonna get 100,000 or 200,000 in a week. You gotta start realistic. So you gotta start, have a starting point, okay? So you gotta not let the ego get in your way. You cannot allow that ego to say like, oh, you know, I'm gonna be able to do this and that. You have to make sure it's a realistic thing. So please analyze your starting point. So if I wanna do 100 push-ups in one day, in one setting, straight, 100 push-ups, you know, I can't just say in two days I'm gonna do it, right? Let's say you gotta figure out where's your strengths and where's your weakness. Let's say you can get up to 10, 
Well, that's good. Okay, there's your starting point. That's where you have to analyze. Now from there, you have to make a record of, well, how many do you think I can achieve more in one setting before I, I tire out? Right, so let's say, you know what, tomorrow I'm gonna achieve, you know, I get tired by the 10, but I'm gonna push myself to at least two more, right? And then you start building your realistic goals from that point on. So analyze your starting point, guys. Step number four, please write that down. Number five, number five is determine why you want to excel with this goal you have in mind, okay? So as we all been through it before, we've seen people do certain things like play music, or do these crazy stunts, maybe flips, backflips, or it could just be they, they invented something and we're all motivated, we're excited, right? And we say, oh, we wanna do that. And then we start to get within a few weeks of it and then that motivation starts to die out because either we hit a problem or something for us to step back from it, maybe it was time, maybe things got in the way, life got in the way. And so what happens is that you wanna understand why this is important to you or whoever wants to achieve this certain goal that person comes to mind with so for example let's say you know I would put in a good step would be write five reasons that why this goal is important to you okay you know how does it affect yourself how does it change your life how will it impact your relationships you have with others um, it could be how does it you know maybe help others in general you know, it could be anything that gives you reason to go back and continue this goal and continue working hard on this goal and keep grinding. Because when you keep grinding, then you start to see the progress. You know, some of us, it's a turtle space. Some of us see a little bit of fast progress and we hit a slump and then we keep going. We call it peaks and valleys. Some of you guys have probably heard of that. We all go through some peaks and valleys, but when we finally get to the top, we find it's a, it's a great feeling. So that's the uh, fifth goal step. Number five, write down a reason. Uh, what's the reason that this goal is so important to you? And why do you want to excel in this area? And, and tie that in with writing five reasons to keep yourself self-motivated to keep going on that path. All right, number six, and this is an important one, guys. Write it down. Set a deadline. You gotta set a deadline because that's what makes the difference between a wish and a goal itself, right? Dream big, hit those big achievements, milestones, all of that, hit it all. I mean, dream as big as you want, and, and there should be no dream bigger. No one should ever tell you, oh, that's too much for you. No, you dream, but you gotta understand when you dream there, you have to have the steps to get there. And you need a starting point but you also need a deadline. You need to set the deadline. That's super important, guys. When you put some pressure on yourself saying, I got two weeks to get to this short-term goal, and you get there, and, and you know two weeks are coming up fast, you know, that's all I got is 14 days to get there, and already seven days, it's halfway there. So you start to get into this mode of, oh man, I gotta try to, I gotta keep myself on this. Now, as most of us have experienced goal setting, it's not always gonna hit on the deadline, guys. It doesn't mean you're a failure, it doesn't mean that we're not successful. It just helps, keeps that fire going. It keeps momentum going, and it puts us in a proper habit to every day focus on that goal that we want to achieve, okay? So again, write that down, please. Set a deadline, that is, Goal step number six. Now on to step seven, guys. Step seven, identify the obstacles that might occur. Okay, so yes, there's gonna be some challenges. There's gonna be a lot of things that are gonna come at you that might stop you from achieving your goal. And I say might, because it's up to you if you let that happen and let that control you and stop you from achieving it. You know, there's a good rule. It's called the 80, 20 rule and they say that 80 percent of obstacles really lie within us the person themselves and 20 percent is actually more external so that's like outside things that might you know affect us from uh, slowing our process down from getting there right so 80 percent of it is, re is usually us because we either hit an obstacle and we fall into this point of man it's too hard i don't think i can do it so self-doubt kicks in fear kicks in maybe it could be like oh i don't have the funds or i don't have enough uh, knowledge for this and we're going to talk more about that one in a moment 
but we have to get past that. So you guys gotta understand there's gonna be obstacles. So you gotta determine what obstacles could be in the way. So let's say, you know, for example, I wanna achieve a business, I wanna get to a business, but you know, let's say you have a great niche and everything. You can, uh, you know, bake, let's say baking or cooking, right? But you wanna open up a restaurant, but you might not have the knowledge and skill to open up those that restaurant because all you know is how to cook but to be able to market or keep the restaurant organized and be able to have, you know, people that you might have to employ, stuff like that, that's a separate step. So that would be something you would have to learn. And that leads us to step number eight, which is you're going to have to look to see what additional skill and knowledge is going to be needed for you to get there. Okay, so for example, if someone's trying to do social media, they may be really good on talking and things like that but their knowledge and skill need to still be worked on maybe when it comes to advertisement or like uh, picking the right keywords or being able to you know try to get a good ranking in on uh, on YouTube stuff like that right so there's always things to improve on and if you are super passionate about getting to this goal then research what it takes to get there and be able to talk to other people that have achieved those goals. Don't get advice from people that don't, that have not achieved those goals because they won't direct you in the right, they won't give you the right information, right? If they haven't achieved it themselves, then what you wanna do is you wanna look at, well, I'm gonna look at the people who have, and that's part of the next step of goal setting. So that is again, number eight is what additional skill and knowledge is necessary. Okay, so number nine, Number nine is determining the people you need in order to achieve the goal you want to get to. All right. So if you are able to get to the goal, you have to know who has achieved those goals, who's gotten to the plan that has the same plan maybe that you want to get to and did they achieve it. Right. So don't go to somebody that has not achieved the goal you want to get to because what's going to end up happening, it becomes more of a guessing game. Right. So again, back up the people that have achieved those goals and it's going to help you guys be able to achieve the goals you want to get to okay so guys write that down number nine determine the people you need in order for you to achieve your goal okay number 10 make a plan all right guys so goal set number 10 you got to make a plan you, you guys have probably heard if if you don't prepare you, you're pretty much setting yourself up for failure so failure to plan uh, basically it's guaranteed failure right so you gotta plan ahead if you plan ahead accordingly and properly and you set those steps in proper order your guys's goal setting is going to achieve much faster right so don't go in there without a plan and guess you gotta be able to show you can achieve those that that goal what's the plan so number 10 write that down and we're going to get to the final two all right step number 11 visualize this is one of the fun most exciting part of goal setting because it doesn't limit us we have full visualization power we can visualize us being there already having it holding it whatever it is visualize yourself in that position and be able to achieve it it gives you that excitement feeling I like to use this tool to keep myself excited because whenever I feel like there's a lot of challenges coming my way I like to just take a break from everything sit down and just relax and visualize me achieving that goal already and when it when I do that it pumps me up even more for the next step right it makes me get through those challenges much easier so use the tool of visualization whether it's sitting back listening to music picturing yourself there or whatever it does maybe you want to sit like in a nice garden or go outdoors and just somewhere where it's peaceful where you can see yourself going through that process of achieving those goals all right so write that down number 11 visualization last one final one number 12 number 12 is never give up and this is where many people fail when it comes to achieving their goals or their fullest potential. They get just about that point and then a challenge hits and they completely give up. And I'm talking about you could be right there and a massive impact can happen. And that can cause someone to give up. But remember guys, that 80-20 rule, that 80% be the cause of us. It would be us to stop ourselves. So remember, don't let that part win. You know, if that, if that part wins we don't get there so don't give up keep pushing keep pushing you guys you know even if you have to listen to motivational music videos you have to be able to you know go back to the roots as simple as just watching someone there 
where where you achieved your goals but they're actually living the real life dream of that then watch them because that could just spark you back up that can give you that fire and determination go back to the five reasons why it's so important to you right so again don't waste time focusing on the negative focus on that positive and the journey to get past that negative right when you do you guys are gonna really feel excited and motivated so those are the 12 steps everyone to goal setting so please write them down we have number 11 again visualization number 12 is never give up and I'm gonna list them up you'll see them on the video you probably are seeing them right now listed up so write them down and like I said keep up the good work guys I hope this helped you I hope you guys feel you know a little more motivated after watching this because if I can achieve my goals I know you guys can and believe me it came from nothing you know, I had nothing in my pocket to now be able to do and travel where we want to go and it's a lot of fun we have uh, abilities to do things that I never thought we were able to do and that's something about life it makes it fun enjoyable so guys go out there achieve your goals and I hope to see you achieving all the things you want in life all right take care and remember be motivated Thank you.